Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on AS Review 2.0. In this video, I'll show you how to get started. When you enter the software, you see the following screen. And you're asked to click or drop a dataset. You can choose from several file extensions, such as CSV, RIS, or XLSX. I will now drop my RIS file with all my papers I have found for my systematic literature review on information problem solving. Those are almost 12,000 records, so it takes a couple of seconds to load, but when your data set is smaller, this will take less time. When it's finished, you see very nice an overview of the data set. The number of records and the number that are likely unique, so there might be still some duplicates in my records, but also some metrics on the availability of the title, the abstracts, and an URL or a DOI. You can also add a data set through a URL. For example, I know there is a researcher who published their data set on the Open Science Framework. So I paste the link to the data set in the URL, and then it will take a while to read what's on that website. And I can select all data sets that are, that are available on that OSF page. For example, I want to go uh, for the data systematic review, I'll choose this first file. And then uh, that one can be downloaded. So I'll click on download. And then um, AS Review will download the data set from the provided URL. And then you can start screening just like I showed you when you enter your own file. But that's not everything. There are some more options to choose from before starting. You can add some labeling tags. Think of some inclusion or exclusion criteria. For example, I can enter the population and underneath that, I can add several types of populations I expect to find that will help me during screening to find in and exclusions. These will be later on added as a separate column to my data set. I will create this group and you will see that later on in the videos that that's appearing during screening. I can also choose my model here. The default model is already awesome. That is Elan's U4. It's a fast, lightweight learner for performance reviewing. So that's a perfect default setting. But maybe when you're handling multiple or multilingual data, Elan's I2 is a great option because it's language agnostic. If you're looking for a more heavy model, for doing the more deep stuff to really find that last paper, or you know you have complex data, you might choose ELAS H3. But in general, ELAS U4 is a very nice model to start with. Lastly, you can also add some prior knowledge. Sometimes you already know there are some key papers that should definitely appear and be included in a review. So you can add those here, but Pay attention, it's not necessary. You can also just start directly without any prior knowledge. But for now, I'll show you how to do it. I can search, and I know there's one article by Frère Jean I would like to add, and this is the one. The population is actually higher education, so I can add that directly and say that one is relevant. And then I return to the settings, and then I'm totally ready to get screening. And I'll tell you more about that in the next video.